please do a tutorial on adding a Superman logo onto a female chest area since it has more curves. Okay, I'm going to give this a go and hope I don't get into too much trouble. Uh, I've imported some objects from Sketchfab and I'll leave a link to the authors in the description so that they can get into trouble for this tutorial as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is use the Mesh Materializer Blender add-on to project this logo onto this torso here, in particular this certain area. So what I need to do is create a UV map for that. So I'm going to select this area, create the UV map, and then the, use the add-on to project the 3D object onto the surface. So with this object selected, I'm going to press Tab to enter Edit Mode. And if I'm not already, I'm going to press 3 to enter Face Selection Mode here. And then if I press C, I can get Circle Select Mode open. And then I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel to increase the area of selection. And they're going to press and hold the mouse and not think about this too much uh, while I select the uh, appropriate area uh, that we need to uh, project the logo onto. And then I'm going to press Shift D to make a duplicate of that selection. And then I'm going to right click to keep it in place. And then I'm going to press P and select separate by selection, which is going to make a separate object of that selection. So I've got the new object here, which is just the area I selected, and then the original object as well. So I'm going to hide that original object by pressing H. And then I'm going to select this area here again, this object I've made from the selection. And then I'm going to create a UV map that I can use to project the object onto. So usually with UV maps, they're used to project 2D images on, but I'm going to use the add-on to project a 3D object onto it instead. So if I go to a UV editing tab, and here I have the object automatically in edit mode, uh, I can press A to select all faces again. And then in the viewport, if I look at it dead on, and that's if I look at this axis lines here, I can look at it dead on by clicking the minus Y um, icon here. I can therefore look at it dead on and then press U to get the UV mapping um, menu up and then project from view. And what this will do is create a UV map that is the same as what I was looking at from the viewport perspective. And then if I just scale this up to be on the bounds of the UV map, uh, so about here, just move it along a little bit as well, um, just by pressing the S as to scale and the G key to move it around, um, I can roughly get the uh, UV map that I need. And that's all I really need in order for the add-on to work. So if I go back to the Layout tab, um, I can use the add-on to project this onto this area. So with this object first selected, I'll press Shift and then click this object and select it last to make it the active object. And then with the add-on installed, you'll have this button here called Create UV Mesh. And if I click that, the logo will be projected onto this area. So we need to do some tidying up. Uh, so the first thing to uh, note is that it's a bit um, too stretched across the surface. So it, with the object selected, you'll have this mesh materializer modifier uh, uh, created here. Uh, and this controls how the logo has been projected. And here I've got a scale um, uh, control. Uh, which I can select and then scale down to make sure the object is scaled appropriately. I can maybe scale across the x-axis a little bit, and that's probably good enough. Uh, the other thing you'll, of course, notice is that it looks a bit kind of uh, distressed and triangulated here. And that's because if I enable wireframe mode here, you can see that the original object had um, a lot of triangular faces that it was made up of. Uh, and the trouble with bending these sorts of kind of stretched triangular faces is that uh, they get distorted very easily. Uh, so what doesn't get distorted as easily, and you can see this on the original torso, are kind of more 
kind of uh, rectangular or uh, square shaped faces and they're also called quads um, and in order to convert this object into kind of more quad based mesh we can use something called a remesh modifier uh, which works quite well on these sorts of flat simple objects and what we'll do here is add that remesh modifier uh, by searching for it and selecting it and it might um, disappear the mesh to start with but if we select the sharp button and then increase the octree depth a little bit not too high you'll see that it's actually reconfigured this mesh into uh, quad uh, faces or rectangular or square shaped faces and this makes the object bend a lot more easily so if we disable the wireframe view you'll see that is a lot better um, and that is essentially it and if I hide the original object and bring back the original body here you can see that uh, being um, displayed there and then I'm going to just make a few more adjustments here as well uh, and change the colouring in the viewport for presentation purposes so say I wanted to kind of embed this a little bit in the mesh uh, I can do that by changing the uh, position in the modifier so I can change the relative Z location. So I'm just going to embed that into the um, uh, original torso a little bit. Um, and uh, then um, to make this a little bit kind of a smoother looking uh, uh, object, uh, I'm going to um, basically bevel it a little using uh, something called a smooth modifier as well that can take the remeshed uh, mesh and smooth it out a little bit. And if I increase the number of uh, subdivisions you'll see that in action there so I'm just going to increase it a little bit um, and it just looks a little bit smoothed out there um, maybe you want to kind of just increase the number of repeats there so it kind of just looks a little bit more organic um, and then um, I, just for presentation purposes I'm going to change the viewport display color from material to object and then uh, I'll scroll down into the object tab here and then I'll select a red color for the logo and then I'll select the torso um, and make that a blue color here and that's about it so if I hide this original object you can see um, that we've managed to project the logo onto the torso here uh, so do let me know if you've got any other suggestions uh, for other tutorials you'd like me to do. I might have to make a judgment call based on uh, the appropriateness of some of the comments maybe, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, so thank you very much and all the best. Goodbye.